Welcome everyone. In this installment of my EPIC AC 2 litre restoration I'm dealing with the process of chemically blackening some nuts, bolts and screws. The bolts with the oil sump were originally blackened and I thought they would look nice if I redid the process. I got the kit from Gateros Plating here in the UK who also do the plating kit I've used. There's no affiliation or sponsorship at the time of making this video I just like their products. It's a cold process, making it a bit easier for us amateurs. Firstly, you need to get the components very clean. After wiping down, I use some solvent cleaner. It's best to remove oil and grease before cleaning with abrasives to avoid grinding any oil into the, the metal. Then I use solvent cleaner again, followed up with an alkaline cleaner, POR15's metal cleaner. Here I've got all the supplied liquids from the kit lined up in jars. Also a bit of deionized water for rinsing. First step is cleaning the parts in Gateras own DP arc line cleaner. Then rinse. I use a magnet to lift the parts out, although I would have preferred an unpainted magnet. Then into the acid activator for one minute. Then rinse again and check that there is no surface tension in the water when you take them out. Water should be in a continuous film across the surface. Then into the cool black solution for up to three minutes depending on the finish you want. Another rinse and this time dry them out. For some extra rust protection we go to another stage. I place them in Rogard Supreme Seal 500 solution for 20 seconds. No rinsing this time, I dried them out and then repeated two more times. Finally, a quick dip in dewatering oil. I mean the bolts, not me. Although the process is supposed to give some rust protection, I suspect that this is minimal, hence the final coating of oil. My main interest is in the appearance.
I also treated some of the self-tapping screws from the AC. I used to wonder why I could not find new replacements for these roundhead slotted screws. I later discovered that they are American screws not available on this side of the pond. AC also used a great many American ANC machine screws and nuts. Presumably these were left over from wartime contracts. I only blackened those screws that are visible in the engine bay, so I cleaned them by hand. If I treated a larger batch I might have electrolytically cleaned them. After using the POR15 metal cleaner, I treated them in phosphate solution, partly to remove any remaining rust and also to dissolve away any of the traces of bitumen on the screws. 20 minutes in this solution should be enough, and then rinse in water. Then the same blackening process, and here they are. Here are the self-tappers now back in the engine bay, securing the wiring. I spotted an issue with the new wiring loom, as it is thicker than the original it was obstructing where the outlet hose from the fuel pump goes. I temporarily refitted the old hose, I shifted the cable towards the right of the car, which is to the left in this view, so that the narrower part of the cable is above the pipe. Then I made a new pair of aluminium P-clips to lift the cable up by about a quarter of an inch. That's all for now. Many thanks for watching and see you soon.